All right, we are live. So Dr. Michael Epitropoulos, this is going to be a fabulous show. Welcome to Wellness Wednesdays. Um, really excited to be here yet again, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. My name is Tracy Strop. I'll be your host tonight, and I head up all the education for Nutritional Frontiers. With me tonight is an extraordinary special guest. His name is Dr. Michael Epitropoulos. He's a functional medicine chiropractor. Also, recently, acupuncture was added to the list of his many talents and vast expertise. So tonight, we're going to talk about making your body an unfriendly host using NF tinctures, which, you know, Dr. Mike, I saw you years ago, probably four or five years ago, and you did an incredible presentation at the professional training event for Nutritional Frontiers, and I just love that you're a great speaker. I'm really excited to be with you tonight. So why don't you introduce yourself a little bit, and then, you know, we'll get into some good details on how we can help everybody stay healthy. Well, first of all, thank you very, very much for that introduction, and I really appreciate you, especially uh, Tracy, with all the fine work you're doing for Frontiers and getting the message out on so many levels. And that's what it's all about. We're, we're supposed to be the messengers to really help and minister and witness for people's health issues, particularly today, tonight, and, and the situation we're dealing with. And we'll get to that in a minute. I've had the privilege of being in the field of natural uh, healthcare, natural medicine for some now uh, 40 years. And uh, it's been quite a journey for me, and I, I'm more excited about it each day, even though I've been at it this long, because I consider it a blessing and an honor in serving the Lord this way. You know, we really, as, as practitioners, we, we really, to us, it's all about helping our patients reach for their highest health potential and giving, you know, giving their bodies the best opportunity of really uh, being in an optimum state of, of healing. And, you know, and through the years, I, I was very privileged in uh, while I was going through my training, I worked with some of the best uh, doctors around, uh, people like the mentors like George Goodhart and Dr. Dick Berzendahl and Dr. Harry Eitner and uh, Dr. Ken Fetter and Dr. John Milovich, Dr. Cal Streeter. Many, these folks were, were pioneers uh, and are pioneers in the nutritional healing in, in the natural medicine healing. So having had the opportunity to work with those fine doctors and getting uh, the level of experience and getting just the clinical pearls that they, that they, they shared with me that, that I use to this day that I, that I really enjoy sharing each day with my patients. Because you know, we as, as practitioners, as physicians, it's, it's our responsibility to be as the, 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 what the term doctor means is to teach. And we're mm -hmm. teaching, right? We're yep. empowering, we're giving information out to each patient. So in, in all these years and being able to reach the point of, of where I'm at right now, and uh, I'm in practice in Norman Beach, Florida. I have been there for the last 20 years. It's where I grew up. I do have roots though in Pittsburgh area because I was born in Steubenville, Ohio, oh. not too far away <laughs> from where you guys are. Mm -hmm. So I have an appreciation for your general area. Uh, I don't miss the snow though. <laughs> no. uh, not, or the no, rain. Or the rain, exactly. <laughs> but you know, you know, I really, really am thankful you have these Wellness Wednesdays and you're, you know, and the great thing about Nutritional Frontiers, and I always tell Jamie this, is that you folks are the true education people. You, you really encourage and you have wonderful outreach and educational materials that you're giving out to your docs. And of course, in turn, they're giving it out to the, we're giving it out to our, our patients. And that education or that information that you're, uh, you're giving to uh, giving out there dispersing is empowering right and that's what tonight is about empowering right and that's what I see each and every day that we do as uh, healthcare practitioners is to empower and we never stop that and and it's really what really is the key because I think we're living and we've been in a, in a time where but especially even now, I mean we're we've been in a time for so long that people feel hopeless about their health no one is really offering them any kind of uh, hope because they're right, not right. giving them information or to even give them some help as to what's going on with them. So we have this crisis now and it's no wonder because you know what kind of care do we really promote in this country? Mm -hmm. It's not wellness care, right? It's nope. crisis care. So we have a population of patients, of people 
who the average person walking around has very poor gut health, right? Mm -hmm. Their immune system is horrible as a result. Their endocrine system is horrible. Uh, every imaginable system of their body is in a state of decline. And it's no wonder then they become a, uh, their bodies become favorable hosts mm -hmm. for anything, whatever invader, whatever name you want to give it, is coming down the pike. So now we are at a crossroads today. We are mm -hmm. faced with this invader. And I, you know, and I, I say to my patients when they come in, well, you have nothing to fear because A, the Lord is watching us, watching over us. Yeah. But B, you're Dr. Mike's patient and you've been <laughs> schooled on the immune system and mm -hmm. keeping it strong and giving your body, keeping your body an unfavorable host. I it sound like a broken record to my patients because that's the say it again for the people right? in the back to hear it, right? That's the I phrase, mean, that's mm -hmm. the phrase that pays, right? It is. And but you know, I want to say one thing before we embark in this discussion tonight, if you don't mind, Tracy. Yeah, no. Number one is spiritual health. Okay, yeah. we, you know that. We're going. Mm -hmm. uh, bottom line, folks, those of you listening tonight, and I make no, I make no um, bones about it. I'm a Christian-based physician. I'm a faith-based physician, and my my Lord Jesus Christ is the ultimate healer, and I'm just His instrument. Mm -hmm. And we're just his instruments, right, Tracy? That's it. And we're That's just, uh, he's, he's, he, you know, we're serving him. Yeah. Uh, by, we're serving him by giving us this information. But what I'm trying to say tonight is, if we're not right with our spiritual health, we're really in trouble. And I think now is, is really a, a sign of that. And I feel like the Lord is kind of, you know, hey, hello, getting our attention, right? Well, so, that's, that's one of the things that I had talked about is like, this is a good discipline. It really put us back into perspective of what was really important. And, you know, we've been saying it at Nutritional Frontiers. There hasn't been a time in history where people have thought more about their health and more about their faith. Um, so those two things really came to the forefront and they did so because we were so weak in both. Um, so, yeah, I agree with you. Spiritual health. Absolutely. People need to get more mind mind focused on looking up rather than looking around at everything that's distracting them well i think we need a biohacking of our spiritual health and our physical health right truly <laughs> and I, I i i really uh my 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 thoughts tonight on biohacking our spiritual health is each and every one of us i think if you just take the time those folks listening tonight sit down with scripture each day read read us a passage to really get your day going, but more importantly, it's going to really, you're just gonna, it's gonna do something because you know with the spiritual healing and physical healing, they're intertwined. So tonight, when we talk about physical healing, I wanna preface it by saying, get your spiritual healing, start getting that going too, as we discuss these other things for physical healing, because they work together, right? And so I'm, 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 I'm really telling you listeners, there, those that are in the webinar tonight is, you know, so, so, open yourself a scripture in the morning or in the afternoon when you can and read a passage each day. This is my, my practice uh, each day. And this is the start to healing your body. We want to get our bodies into a healing mode. And to in order for us to get our bodies in a true healing mode, we've got to really not start with our spiritual healing. And that's, that's my biohacking for spiritual health uh, remark for this evening. Great. You can keep talking about it. I'm good with it. <laughs> there you go. So, so that's something that, you know, again, I'm going to throw some things out folks uh, to think about and mm -hmm. our discussion of how to make your body an unfavorable host, mm -hmm. because now is the time. If anything is coming to light right now is that we have to make our body an unfavorable host to anything mm -hmm. that might come down the pike. And ladies and gentlemen, this is not going to be the one and only time that we are faced with a challenge. Uh, yeah. And the bottom line is that when we have a population of folks, as I just said, mentioned that because of the fact that our crisis care system does not emphasize healthcare, they emphasize sick care, so that when something like this does happen, then we have, it shows, it shows, mm -hmm. it shows because it's going to decimate uh, particularly, which is so, so sad and tragic is our, of course, our elderly population and those with underlying health problems are the first, right, the first line of folks that are being significantly affected by this. 
-hmm. And then, but then we have the general population, which is not that much better with, because again, weaken immune system, weaken uh, body overall. And so tonight I'm going to look at the wonderful tinctures from nutritional frontiers that are going to help those listening in to work on, as I discuss in terms of body systems, the systems of the body to make your body a favorable host, a fa unfavorable host to, uh, to really make you bulletproof. I like that phrase, bulletproof, there you go. right? Yeah, so we use it. <laughs> it's, it's it, you know, and, and, and so let's talk about it. Let's talk about the foundation. And I always like to start with the lymphatic system. Okay. And the lymphatic system is our starting point because we could talk for hours on end just about that system because, you know, what is the major complaint everyone has? They have pain, right? Mm -hmm. They have tremendous pain and whatever they want to call it, whatever the, the label is, whether it be rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, fibromyalgia. You know, it's funny. I, I think back, you know, I'm dating myself, but as I said, I've been practicing 40 years and that's amazing enough stuff because I'm only 45. <laughs> I go back to when I first started in the late 70s, practicing early 80s. And the big, the big phrase back then was, um, it was um, uh, mononucleosis. Mononucleosis oh, yeah. was the 70s. Then the, and then the 80s, it became chronic fatigue syndrome. And then in the 90s and in the 2000s, it became fibromyalgia, yeah. right? So yep. we had this every decade, the same thing cycling, right? The same thing cycling, all right? So the bottom line is when we have a pain type syndrome, which all those are, they all are of the same. That's the same thing. They're all each just given, be given, being given a different name each, each decade. It's your lymphatic system that is congested. It's backed up. Mm -hmm. Our lymphatic system is our septic tank. And that septic tank gets backed up every day. We think about, my goodness gracious, all the toxins in the air and in the food. And in the water, like bromide and fluoride and chloride, just to name a few. And to think about the herbicides and the pesticides and oh my goodness gracious, <laughs> on and on and on and on and on. Well, your body has to is, you know, filter all this stuff. And the, one of the systems which has to, to deal with all that exposure is called the lymphatic system, right? Mm -hmm. And so that septic tank gets backed up. We don't have a pump for it as we would have like the heart, of course, the pump of the cardiovascular system. There is no pump for this the lymphatic system. Right. So because of that septic tank and getting back up with all those toxins and all those poisons, now we're creating a horrific toxic body. Mm -hmm. And a toxic body is a sick body. And folks, that is the number one reason why degenerative conditions are so significant in an epidemic proportion because we are poisoned. Literally, we are all poison. Do you want to add anything to that while we're moving along? Well, I love the lymphatic system. And I think it's, you know, I think we forget about it because we get bigger and badder things to look at, right? So now everybody has tunnel vision on a disease um, that's created by the toxicity and inflammation of the body. You know, it's like last week when we were talking uh, on the webinar, it was a great statement by Dr. Noah Erickson. He said, you know, inflammation loads the gun, but Corona pulls the trigger. So you're already at this capacity that you're just full. And then somebody just adds a little bit more water and, and overflows the bucket. You know, the other thing about the lymphatic system, I love, it's all about homeostasis. You know, it balances all our fluids and our pressures and think about people on, you know, ACE inhibitors and blood pressure medications. Those were the people that were most susceptible. And then third, it regulates our fat soluble vitamins. And what was the vitamin, Dr. E, that was up against coronavirus, right? Was fat soluble pro hormone vitamin That's right. D. That's right, D, 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 yeah. D. Absolutely. So you started with, you know, the king of your detoxification pathway, and nobody thinks about it. And what are we all doing? We're sitting around watching Facebook all day, not moving, not pumping it. So I love that you started with the lymphatic system. And you know, it's, it's so neat because if folks get that wonderful tincture from Nutritional Frontier, it's called lymphatic tinctures. Just taking three dropperfuls of that, folks. And when we talk about the tinctures, I like everybody to remember that your 
goat saying by you know when you squeeze the the, the little pink the little thing but the, the pipette there you're getting a half there you go you're going to get about a half at a time right so i always show i demonstrate to my patients get twice two squeezes get you about a full dropper full and you're doing three of those a day that's what i have found in my work with the tinctures is okay. a the beginning point but i will preface say this you know, there are sometimes, a lot of times when we are dealing with a really big challenge, mm -hmm. so oftentimes I may have to dose at four dropperfuls a day for about mm -hmm. a week, even five dropperfuls a day for at least a week. Okay? And it's nutrition, right? It's, it's nutrition, nutrition. Exactly. That's all it is. It's exactly. just an herbal tincture. We're, we're exactly. It's an herbal tincture. Um, and, 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 but it's, but there are times, a lot of times in your body requires, because your body is so deficient or mm -hmm. that lymphatic septic tank is so backed up and has been backed up for some time that, that you need to be taking even more than the three dropperfuls of, of the lymphatic. And by the way, folks, I recommend to you all, you should all be doing lymphatic system all the time. I have the lymphatic formula. That should be your, that should be like your everyday vitamin, honestly. I mean, if you just did that alone, ladies and gentlemen, you would see so many significant changes with any kind of uh, inflammatory issues going on. I like that uh, Dr. Erickson said about pulling that trigger, that the yeah. corona is pulling the trigger. Well, there's a lot of things that can pull the trigger. It just happens that, you know, they're showing us one that's pulling a trigger right now, but guess what? There's a lot of things down the road that you can pull the trigger at yep. any time, right? Yep. Well, but, why should um, we wait till they pull the trigger? That's right. Let's get prepared now. And, you know, I mean, that's the thing. These simple solutions that we're coming up with. I mean, how hard is it? This is not hard, right? It's small. You can put a little bit in water if you want to. Now this is vitamin D, but I take sunshine D, but this is the actual size of the tinctures we have. Exactly. And we have larger sizes, um, but put a little bit, put a little bit of that in water a couple times a day, throw it into your shakes. If you're making a shake or your pro colors or, you know, whatever you want to do, the compliancy is so high for these, you know, that the patients and clients will take it. You know, sometimes I get supplemented out that the delivery systems that we offer where we have liquids and chewables and capsules. I mean, there's something for everybody. And I don't think, Dr. Padopoulos, people know that we have tinctures. I they don't. don't. Think they know. You're right. So this is great. And I love that you are kind of the guru on this. So, all right, keep going. What's next? So so, so we're, <laughs> we're on this lymphatic track. And again, like I said, and, and needless to say, the lymphatic system, you name the organ system, and the lymph is, is integral in the functioning of every... In fact, recently there was an article about how they saw it actually crossing the blood brain barrier. And I mean, you know, it's funny, you know, I, I go back 40 years, Tracy, and stuff that I'm hearing now, I was saying this about 40 years ago, but <laughs> at the time, you know, um, you know, I, 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 was, I was thought to be a fact, uh, years ago, I had a, a patient coming to me from Africa back in the late 70s, early 80s when I first started. And, one day he was in my office. I said, so what do they call doctors like me over there? And he goes, which doctors? Oh. So, <laughs> so, I mean, we're, we've come a long ways, right? We, with the work that we do back then, it was thought, you guys are crazy. What yeah. in the world is this guy doing? This Greek doctor with a long last name, you know? And now it's, it's Vogue, right? We're yep. so I get to see it become becoming Vogue, which I, I'm really thankful. I am I too. I'm, I don't care what it takes as long as the people start using it. Right. And if, if March in the history of all supplement sales was the largest sales we've ever had in the country, right? Supplement sales were like skyrocketing, historic numbers. And if that's the case, then you can really see that people are looking and seeking and researching and they're finding out that maybe there is something to all of this. It only took a hundred years. A <laughs> hundred years in a pandemic. Right, and a pandemic, and you know, <laughs> some wrath. Other than that, they they were thinking about it before, but you know, now they're less likely to be hesitant right. because they're hearing all of this information coming out. So, where I would say to somebody, you know, they're recommending now taking ten thousand IU's a day of vitamin D. Before, it would have been like, oh, that's toxic. My doctor said one thousand, but now people are coming to me saying. I need more. I need more vitamin D. They're telling me I need 10,000 now. Great. I'm so glad. I know it only took, you know, a hundred years, but wonderful. They're a little slow on the gap that the other side, but you know, they're, they're coming around. Well, so I love it. Too late. It keeps us going with what we're doing. And as again, as educators and empowering, giving us information. Mm -hmm. So uh, whilst we're on the subject of lymphatic, 
We also know that when your lymphatic system is congested, it also means there's a very good chance that you have an overgrowth of microbial issues going on in your gut, parasite, mm -hmm. yeast, bacteria, and, and, and candidiasis and such. So in conjunction with the congestion of lymphatics, now we're gonna spend some time working on the gut, right? And we could spend another seminar webinar on just the gut alone, right? This body <laughs> second brain and this makes more serotonin than the brain does and every system of the body interacts with it. It's in the communication yeah. with it and every system, things that we never really thought about that were even major institutions, even like Duke and other neurophysiology departments are doing amazing research, right? In the, in the gut. And, and we're just realizing now the gut is, is the key. And therein lies the problem again with this pandemic. What it's pointing out is the average person walking around has poor gut health. Well, I think it's like the top four medications that are prescribed yes. are digestive aids, right? Proton so inhibitor, what does that, proton yeah. inhibitors, PPIs, yeah. And, but people don't realize, and if just touch on this a little bit, people think that if they take those medications, because you can ask them, do you have any issues, conditions? Nope, nope, perfectly healthy. And then they sit down in the chair and you say, are you on any medications? They're like, well, yes, I'm on this proton pump inhibitor and this acid reducer and I'm on this medicine and I'm like I just asked you if you had any conditions but they don't consider that a condition can you touch on why that should be considered a flag towards maybe other things or a condition in itself huge issue because as you pointed out the 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 uh the prescription rate of that particular uh group of medications called proton pump inhibitors which by the way by virtue of it being a highly prescribed medication, it also has a, a, a large population of people that, uh, have, because of the side effects of it, actually uh, it causes a great a, a large population of, of side of um, over, overdose. Not overdose in a bad way, but in other words, the side effects are, are truly can be deadly. Okay. Yeah. Well, the condition itself, we're really indicating to the person is, look, you know, they're saying, oh, we got to give you something that suppresses your stomach acids, well, they're going in the reverse direction because your stomach acids are already suppressed. Your body is not making the acid it needs to help you digest, and now you're gonna suppress it even more. This is lunacy, crazy. And that's creating a whole, a whole realm of, of horrible health issues for folks because then we look at, now we're gonna shut down not just the fact that they, they're, they're, we're, gonna, we're gonna suppress even more their, their stomach acids that are at a low level. Now we're gonna really throw their digestion off and start overwhelming the liver, the gallbladder and the pancreas, especially because now we're seeing what? Uh, an epidemic almost of pancreatitis and pancreas cancers and all that, not to mention gallbladder issues and all that. So this is like a cascade effect by being on these proton pump inhibitors. With, and the whole theory is wrong in and of itself and suppressing already suppressed acids. Yeah. Go ahead, uh, Tracy, you were gonna uh, add to that? No, I was just, and it's also our sanitizer and people oh. don't realize that, right? I it's mean, our major sanitizer. And, and can you just touch on that with like a virus? Like how does that well, work? I come and I sneeze on you, I cough on you and where does it go? The whole point is that get, you've got your first line of defense is that acidic to be able to, to, to kill the bug, to kill, because you've got that acid to do that with, you see, and it's already suppressed. So the bottom line is, first of all, you've got lack of the good bacteria that you already are lacking significantly, all those pre and probiotic bacteria that are weighed down because of our horrible eating habits and lifestyle and all this other stuff. Now we're gonna throw into the mix that you don't have enough acid in you to be healthy, but we're gonna suppress some more so that when these bugs and these invaders start invading you, a, you mm -hmm. don't have the probiotic, the levels of good bacteria you need to, to defend against them, right? To, yep. to crowd them out. And you don't have the acids to kill them. So is it any wonder that we're walking around and, hey, any virus is going to love your body? And there you have it. That's, that's the whole point. So you have your first line of defense with the sanitizer, right? And so the tincture that we're going to get into, and I'm going to, yes. I'm going to guess that you're talking about microgon. Microgon, um, micro, micro. This is fun. This is like a game. You lead into it, and I'll guess. Yes, the there tincture. you go. This is good, and maybe people watching our live yes. stream can then guess yes. too. Yes. Hey, there you go. Um, so name, name that tincture. Name that tincture. That's the game, folks. And let's see who gets it right. Maybe we'll give a free giveaway. Um, so microgon, explain to me a little bit how that creates an unfavorable host to the virus, but also a favorable host to 
the microbiome that you're talking about, right? Our probiotic base, like it does both. It does both. And that's what's so u- unique about the formulation because A, on one hand, we're killing off those candidas, the fungus and the yeast and the bacteria and the virus. But at the same time, we're allowing the growth with it. It's promoting the growth of the good bacteria that needs to be there, the pre and probiotic bacteria, which by the way, I also interject to say, while I'm having them take the microbiome, I'm saying, and your diet should be one where you're also eating fermented foods, right? Mm-hmm. The, the, having the kombucha and the kimchi and, and, and uh, uh, kosher pickles, a refrigerated one and, uh, and sauerkraut and such. But man, that microbiome is so powerful in, in allowing the, it's a, like promoting a balancing, it's a balancing act in the gut, hmm. but it's allowing the good guys to start out numbering the bad guys. Right, sending in the good soldiers. Yeah. Sending in the good soldiers. And boy, I mean, everybody should be on every day, lymphatic and microbiome. That should be a foundation of your daily hmm. routine. I mean, I can't think of two- Now I have to order my microbiome. More important things <laughs> to do day in day. I mean, I take it as a ritual, both of those, and I can tell when I don't. I mean, mm-hmm. I can see things start creeping in a, a little bit. You know, what's interesting, folks, with your gut health, what I've noticed, uh, uh, Tracy, I don't know if you, and I'm sure you probably noticed it too, people that have lots of food allergies, why do they have food allergies? Well, they have food allergies, again, because there's been a di- disruption in that microbiome. So they've got more, a lot more bo- bad guys than good guys. So they're beca- their body becomes hypersensitive to everything and anything, right? To whether it be eating or that it's airborne. So we oftentimes can straighten out, uh, really help people with their food allergies just by A, decongesting their lymphatics. Mm-hmm. Uh, and which by the way, we didn't mention the lymphatic thing with people having heavy metals and chemicals being backed up with all those. It's a very big sign when the lymphatics are congested. Uh, and I have a type of testing that I do that shows lymphatic congestion, but hmm. heavy metals and chemicals are going to cause lymphatic congestion. But getting it back to the gut, when we start getting that gut health back, we start to see food allergies improve. Hmm. And it's yeah. really, really neat. Really, really neat. And it's interesting because it's layers, right? I mean, you it's talk layers. about microbials in there, your candida, yes. your parasites, all that. But then you have the endotoxins. You have yes. the waste product yes. of those. Yes. And then the waste product leaks into the blood. And now yes. we have a systemic toxicity. So that's what I tell people. Like, it's not just one bottle. It's not just one time or, you know, for a week. We're going to be on this protocol for a while because we have to reach far and wide into your body and all the, you know, uh, implications that have come along with this systemic overgrowth of bad things, bacteria, whatever you want to call it. So, so basically lymphatic and microgon are kind of your foundation. You could also do these as a cleanse a couple times a year if All people just time. wanted to do that. Yes, right? we, we have it as a cleanse as well. Uh, I, I like to have them cleanse actually uh, every kind of every three months, so do a, a cleanse every, at least four times, four times a year. But again, like you said, you know, it's like oftentimes patients will go, well, how long do I have to take this for? Well, how long do you eat for? It's a food, <laughs> you know? I mean, yeah, it's a food. That's true. We've been so geared because of the medication bombardment on TV that, you know, uh, you take this for that and this for that, but you take mm-hmm. it over a short period of time or not anymore. They take it for a long, long time. But this is healing your body. These are healing herbs. You know, what the sixth day, God put them in the earth for a reason, right? right? The herbs and the plants and all that, because they are, they, they're, they're healing foods. Mm-hmm. They were given to us because to heal this amazing temple that we're housed in and, and, and microgon and lymphatic are a perfect example of very healing extract from plants. Yeah. I love it. Paul DeArco, black walnut, echinacea, olive leaf. There's just lists of just goodness in there and it does work very fast and so we, and it can be used very broad spectrum too, broad spectrum at an affordable price absolutely good compliance absolutely this is a really unique formula and 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 for you practitioners that are watching us tonight they're just starting in with working with nutritional supplementation the beauty again of it as i mentioned uh, earlier that uh, nutritional frontiers is the leader in educational materials and they'll provide you with those wonderful materials that I, I have them sitting all day, all the time in my, my reception 
room mm -hmm. and there's not a day Tracy as you know that a patient will come in my treatment room when they're ready for their when they're ready I'm ready to see them oh I was reading about that uh, that lymphatic formula I was reading about that a microgon or whatever it is and it, what about that Dr. Mike is I'm not taking uh, 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 they're a new patient I'm not taking that what is, should I do in this side so they're thought provoking materials you see and it's a great for the new practitioner because they've got these aids that help them tremendously right yeah so well, we just, appreciate that you use them because we put oh, a lot of work into those absolutely and, uh, they are I, I'm, cooking I'm, points to it. it 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 gives a level of comfort i felt like i used to put the holistic truth in my waiting room right so they would just pick up that little magazine and start flipping and the same thing they would come up and be like well why aren't i and then they started questioning me like why aren't i taking this <laughs> i'm just like well you know uh we're, we're working a protocol but so then i found myself like uh you can take it you know so i think people want health they want to be better they just need that direction they need to know like how do i take it when do i take it and that's easy we can direct them with that but you're right the the pill popping it works to our advantage you know because then there is compliancy and people realize they have to take more right they have to take additional nutrients on top of food and they're okay with that but then it also works to our disadvantage you know where they think that they don't have to take it forever or you know i don't need a multivitamin forever and you, basically you do so yeah, I think if you live on this toxic planet, you need to stimulate the lymphatic system in a positive way and make sure you have good uh, gut microbiome. Here's a, a, a thing I learned years ago from um, actually from Dr. Dick Versendal. Uh, Dick and I used to practice close by each other and uh, would oftentimes when he was out of town teaching, I would see his patients. He said, here's an equation to use or a logarithm. When a, I tell a patient, look, for every for every year you've been with a challenge, a health challenge, you need to be on nutritional uh, support therapy for two to three months for every year. So let's say, for example, you've had a particular health challenge for six, seven years. Well, you're gonna be on that nutritional support for 20, 21 months mm. for ultimate healing to occur. Yeah. So it's a time process, right? And we have to, you know, we, we were having to reprogram people basically, like you said, because they get into that, oh, how long do I have to take that for? Because it's a medication over here, which is just treating the symptoms anyway. It's not really doing anything but that. Uh, I mean, I know I'm, I'm gonna get uh, some uh, shouts about this, but good health is not common in a medicine bottle. It never has mm -hmm. and never will. And the boy, bottom line is good health does come in a nutritional frontiers bottle. Right. And that could be a, a new thing for you guys. Good health comes in a nutrition bottle. <laughs> so, uh, but the bottom line is, this is a big thing. We have to, write to that you know, to really get that into our patients, into, in the public's head, right? Mm -hmm. And and uh, that's it. And so, again, in talking about the lymphatic system and the gut, we've already covered a plethora of conditions, Tracy, right? That could be just related to the lymph system being backed and to the gut being backed i'm oftentimes say hey i could probably affect in a very positive way 80 percent of the health challenges we see today just by working on the lymphatic system and the gut right I because agree. of their implications on the other organs of the body speaking of which now we move now over to which i always like to do is i like to while we're on this this, this and we're really we're, we're talking about detoxification here when we're talking so we about have to this. play guess the tincture so people uh, guess the tincture. that's right i'm waiting i'm waiting to see if anybody can guess which one i'm going to next because we're staying on this path of detoxification so let's move on to the major organ of detoxification and we know it's the liver right yeah. and here's this unbelievable organ that does over 500 minimally 500 has 500 functions and it's unbelievable this organ unbelievable mm -hmm. and yet we insult it every minute of the day we play let's see how much you can take how much duress can we put on you mr liver till you finally give out on us yeah. and we don't want it giving out on us because that spells major 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 trouble because here we have an organ that literally affects every other organ in the body every organ in the body 
And Every you know organ who gets the blame. You know who gets the blame all the time? The little tiny gallbladder. The little he tiny takes gallbladder. The blame, and then That's he gets right. thrown out. He's That's like, right. you get, you're out of here. That's right. You're Poor out of here. Gallbladder. Exactly. Yeah. It's like the drop of a hat. You're out of here. We're going to take mm -hmm. you out. Speaking of which, I had a case um, come into me the other day. A gal with newly newly uh, diagnosed pancreatic cancer, and you folks, you know one of the, the hardest parts of my job is I have found myself working with a lot of cancer patients more than I ever have in my forty years, and hmm. this is a newly diagnosed cancer uh, pancreatic cancer. Now, guess what she had removed when she was twenty five years old? Guess gallbladder. her gallbladder. Mm -hmm. My favorite's when they say they lost it. I lost my gallbladder. I lost my gallbladder. It's <laughs> like, where did you lose I, it? Well, you could displace it, right? <laughs> right. Wow. <laughs> well, okay, so let's do the math. She's 70 years old today, right? 25 years, at 25 years old, she has her gallbladder removed. So what was that, 45 years ago, right? Well, she didn't think, and nobody ever told her, oh, by the way, when your gallbladder is removed, guess what organ now has got to work? like crazy and it's going to be under major duress and mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff mr pancreas and now at the age of 70 she has a diagnosis of pancreatic cancer so that's what's wrong with the system that the, the crisis care system that, that there's no education in the sense yeah, of yeah. as we do say by the way you know everything every organ is interdependent they work together and there's there's ramifications there's consequences when you're not taking care of these organs that mm. they're going to tell on you. You know, there's an old saying, the body never forgets or forgives. Oh, and I think, who, <laughs> and I think that's the population of patients that we see, the ones that the body never forgave them, yeah, that yeah. never forgot them. And now it's definitely not forgiving them because now they have a manifestation of a health challenge that resulted from something from the past, right? Yeah. And that's, oh, you know, the process of what you were talking about, the pancreas, it has to work double. I mean, and it's a dual organ. It does, you know, enzymatic yes, processes you need, you need that way. and insulin. So now from what we learned a couple of weeks back with Dr. Len, he told us, you know, you only get so many pumps. No, so, yes, you does. know, what's going to happen, it's either going to stop producing insulin or it's going to go the other direction and become worse, which unfortunately in the case of the uh, woman you're talking about, and I think your point to, um, you know, removing organs, the body doesn't forgive or forget. Um, I think people are so used to rep the repression process, right? It's like, just repress that symptom. I don't want to feel it anymore, rather than the healing crisis. You know, I don't even like to call it a crisis. It's more of a healing process, right? But they call a it a crisis because, because they feel everything. And that's, that's the reverse. And I try to tell my clients, like, your body heals from the top down, inside out, and in the reverse, you know, in the reverse process of the symptom. So whatever symptom you had first, all those years back, that'll be the last thing you experience. So it's in the reverse order of symptoms. And they're like, oh, so I have to go back through this all? Yes, you do. You know, because this was your symptoms before. Now you're at the peak of your symptoms. Now you're going to come back down. So it's top down, inside out, reverse order of symptoms. And you have to go through the healing process, which means you have to feel and remember. And they just, some people just don't understand that. And a lot of people don't understand because we don't explain it. This is not a repression. You're not going to start taking these and feel magnificent. You feel better because you're not going to have this big symptom up here anymore. Now you're down here. Now you're down here. Now you're down here. Right now you have none. That's where we want to get you. But I usually tell people, like, as you heal and you go through that process, we're not looking for nothing. We're looking for less times that you had back pain, more nights sleep, not like 100% optimal all the time. So I think the mindset of repression process versus healing process, that's a big thing we have to get out there and, and teach our clients and be honest with them that we're not here to suppress your symptoms. We're here to help your body heal. So. Well, the suppression comes in the indoctrination of the symptoms, feeding right. the symptoms with medication. And they think, oh, well, I'm taking meds to suppress symptoms. Isn't that the same? Or they'll say, oh my gosh, I just started taking that lymphatic formula or microgon and I just started having horrible, for the first couple of three <laughs> days, this horrible pain. So I just stopped taking them. And I'd like, no, wait a minute. You're thinking again and how you've been programmed. We got to re the paradigm shift, right? Or we they think they're having a reaction. Or they're having a reaction exactly mm -hmm. you know it's the old joke too where they're, they're really quick to say oh it's probably the i mean they'll take whatever medications put in front of them <laughs> but boy will they investigate 
the I supplement know. you put in front of them, right? Look at that, the magnifying I mean, glass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as many years as I've been at this, it never seems to amaze me with that part of things. And it's just, it's just really comical. But you know, the liver, you know, the thing is here, we've got this wonderful tincture from Frontiers called liver gallbladder tincture, which I love mm -hmm. because it has such a miraculous effect and detoxifying liver, rejuvenating the liver and gall gallbladder, restoring them. Just marvelous uh, uh, tincture, you know? Yeah. And, and because of that, uh, the properties of it has, and you know, folks, again, just like lymphatic, just like that, a microgon, you should really be utilizing uh, your liver gallbladder tincture from Frontiers because you need, there is not a person on the uh, in the United States, unless they're from another planet, that hasn't been affected by toxins, right? Mm -hmm. And we're constant barrage, as we said, it's a huge part of the problem of any kind of degenerative condition is the toxicity issues. You gotta so, love your liver. You gotta love the liver. You gotta <laughs> really show love to the liver. And, and there's some other fine products we won't have time to talk about, but I love the NAC because we wanna mm -hmm. work on glutathione levels because you know, glutathione is an old, way overlooked master antioxidant. We could talk mm -hmm. a night on that alone. You know, there's over 140,000 research articles on this amazing antioxidant called glutathione that your body has to have intracellularly. Every cell of the body has to have a certain amount of it. And, mm -hmm. and, and so, so Frontiers has got a wonderful product that will work on helping your body build that up again, a part of cleansing the liver because the liver makes glutathione. It's like, you know, as you know, it's the number one storage area for that, for glutathione. Mm -hmm. And it's got to be there at a certain level to help your liver detoxify again. So anything you folks can do to detoxify your liver is the key to your health. Yeah. Right. And absolutely. And, you know, phase one, phase two, detoxification, metals to water soluble, it all requires glutathione. And one of the things that they realized with this virus was that intravenous glutathione, intravenous right. vitamin C, right. things that really boosted the immune system and enhanced your detoxification were the things that worked the fastest. So right. if you can do that every day for yourself, right, and your bucket of water today is full, and you start the lymphatic and the microgon and the liver gallbladder tincture, and you add the NAC, well, you can get your bucket down to half. Now, Absolutely. if a virus comes in, guess what? You're not inflamed, you're not toxic, your body will be able to, you know, protect you and you don't have to fear and that's the thing we gotta get people to get their buckets a little bit more empty <laughs> just dump out the toxins that's what we want to do tonight you said the magic word you don't have the fear and that's what mm -hmm. doing this type of work and they're proactive being proactive in your health to really activate the, the god-given healing ability really allows you to remove the fear factor because when there's faith, there's no fear. And when you're doing the right thing for your body, there's no fear, right? That's so right. these are the things we're discussing tonight that gives you folks that ability, that gives you that confidence, if you will, that you're giving your body the very best opportunity to overcome any invader, any health challenge that wants to come down the pike. Now, our discussion is not complete if we don't include the cardiovascular system. And one of my other favorite tinctures is circuit care. Here's the deal, you know, as we get older, and I know you're still very young, Tracy, but as <laughs> well, you get I'll older, let you believe that. Thank as you, you get older, <laughs> the circulatory, as you know, uh, circulation gets more sluggish, right? Mm -hmm. that, that flow of that lifeline, that blood that we have is very sluggish. And, that, and by the way, ladies and gentlemen, you know, it's been research shows that at the age of eight years old, we actually start plaquing. Okay, and some people, plaque faster than others. Genetics, uh, unfortunately, is a, is, a, is a factor in that. It doesn't happen, doesn't mean though you have to, it has to manifest itself and you're going to be destined to whatever your, you know, parents or grandparents thing is, is you can, you can help things out. But the bottom line is you still have that genetic disposition. So you, mm -hmm. you the folks, you folks have to do something for your circulation. And that's where circuit care is the starting point for me, for my patients, we want to enhance the circulation. We want to increase the strength of the intima, the inner lining of that vessel, because as it and make it more pliable. Because as you age, it's hardened. We call a hardening of of the arteries, and we so we want to get that blood flow nice and strong. Because that's why you see so many people now 
Tracy, and I know you've, you, you, you know of this too, you know, how many people go into a, for a procedure and they have uh, a blood clot all of a sudden mm -hmm. uh, happens, right? All of a sudden. Yeah. Well, guess what, folks? That just didn't happen. They have bad circulation. Nobody happened in their care, their, as I, again, crisis care, recognized in this person's case that, oh, by the way, you have poor circulation, okay? I never took any, uh, as a result, this, this person didn't know to say, oh, maybe I should be on something like circuit care and some vitamin E and such to really enhance that blood flow. So that's right. why I like circuit care. I like to have all my patients on circuit care because there's no exception to the rule here. Everybody, to some effect, has poor circulation. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's, you know, 8.6 million people in 2019 died of heart disease. <laughs> I mean, I think that that pretty much sums it up right there. So, you know, it's still the number one killer. And as Jamie says, it's not sexy, but it still no, kills more people it's than not anything. sexy. That's, that's for right. sure. That's mm -hmm. right. You know, that's funny because it's years ago, again, because I've been practicing for so long, I can tell these stories. But years ago, I was uh, working with another doctor to develop this kit that we would send home. And it was, I, we were kind of ahead of our time. It was like a home care kit with certain supplements in this little kit. And we, you know, we put a little, in a little box and we put a cardiovascular support supplement in there. And then we put something for their hormones and libido and all that. And we, guess what didn't, this who, this is what they wanted to buy more of what product more than the other, of course, libido and <laughs> hormonal stuff versus, oh, heck with the heart. We just want to have the libido and the hormonal, to die anything that makes us look really, really good. Cause I right. think there was a, there was a skincare product in there somewhere too. And forget the heart health problem. Product, yeah, you it can't wasn't sexy. see that, right? You, you can't, can't see that. that. You can't, exactly. if, if you would turn exactly. yourself inside out, I think you'd have, uh, you know, a whole different perspective on your health. You'd be like, that's what my stomach looks like. And oh my gosh, look at my lungs. So that's think, another you know, webinar, the webinar right. of turn your instead body of inside injecting out. our lips and breast implants and all these implants and changes for patients, whether they female, not just picking on the ladies, you know, too, <laughs> they do their stuff. Why don't we just worry about our internal organs more than anything? I always like to say, mm -hmm. I'd rather have nice looking organs than be a, a, a good looking cadaver. <laughs> right, right. And there, there you, you go. go, right? And this is really ties into again, what we're talking about. So yes, yeah, circulation, not sexy, but guess what? If we don't have good circulation, it doesn't matter how sexy we are mm -hmm. because we're, we're six feet under. Bottom everybody line, everybody looks right? the same. Six. Feet everybody under. looks the same. Exactly. Exactly. Right. So everybody should be on circuit care at all times. I'm telling you right now, folks, do that if you've got lower leg or you've got discoloration of your lower legs, you feel a heaviness in your legs, you're having heart related, you know, from blood pressure issues to to just you know all types of anything that even uh, uh, I mean we could go on and on just all these cardiovascular symptoms, right? Just by enhancing that circulation with circuit care you know, it's going to be tremendously big, big help. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, go ahead. No, I was going to say, we've talked all this time about health prevention of the big bad virus, right? And that's really what we're talking about yes, is making your, virus. making your body yes. unfavorable. Mm -hmm. Yes. But we haven't even talked really about any specific immune products, which you think everybody would be like, oh, we just have to take immune products, but that's no. really not the case, is it? That's right. It right. helps. Right. It helps. Absolutely. Right. But it, as a segue, if we did want to speak of immune mm -hmm. products, we would start with our, our immune tincture of Frontiers, right? Right. And, and that's a wonderful foundational product. But the point you're making, Tracy, is well taken. It's all about all your, your whole entire body, the different systems of your body being optimally, working optimally, mm -hmm. which is supporting that immune system, right? Your immune system relies on the gut. And your immune system relies on lymphatics and your immune system relies on the circulation. I mean, everything is working in unison there, right? And so mm -hmm. that, that all those systems have got to be working adequately to support. But yes, I tell everyone right now, especially to please get on immune tincture, get on Nutritional Frontiers immune tincture, three dropperfuls a day. Oh, five. And it goes without saying, folks, when you're on the different tinctures, all you're doing is mixing them together. That's the beauty of these tinctures. You get to mix them. You don't, you know, that's really convenient. And I like, you know, I, I like mom hacks because I'm a mom, 
right? So right. I really like the tinctures for my kids because, you know, they're, they're versatile. You can utilize them with children. Kids will take them. Yes. You can hide them in things. But if I see something coming on, I go for the lymphatic tincture first, yes. vitamin D, yes. and then, you know, immune tincture is yes. in there too, but yes. always lymphatic with my kids. Absolutely. You ever notice how kids want to just jump when they feel better, right? As soon as they Absolutely. feel better, they're jumping and everyone's like, sit down, you're going to get sick again. And I'm like, jump away, get out of the trampoline, get that lymphatic system moving. Let's get that, you know, the last little bit of sludge that's in there. Let's get it out. So yeah, the immune tincture has the echinacea, the astragalus, again, Paul de Arco, we seem to like that one a lot. Uh, but it also has the mataki mushroom, uh, just so many good things in here. And now teasel root. I mean, obviously that's great for, we know teasel is very good for Lyme, but it's also great for viruses. And, you know, so lots of good things in the immune tincture and it's in our new Corona kit. Yes. So that's, that's a great little kit as well. Yeah. If people yeah. want to use That's that. a magnificent combination. And that mm -hmm. it really is, and especially really neat. All my patients know they, in fact, it's automatic now. They've been so educated to it that when they're feeling kind of coming down with something or something, or they're, mm -hmm. you know, getting congested, they'll call up the office. So they'll tell my Tracy, please send us out a lymphatic and immune because they're, they're, they know what to they do, know. right? We've, we've got them conditioned that way. And because they know it works together and the beauty of the lymphatic and getting that decongested too, if they're getting mm -hmm. the sniffles, right? Or congestion, nothing works better as they're con decongesting the lymphatics to clear all that kind of stuff up, right? So- I love um, an educated client. <laughs> there you, I know, I know it. And mm -hmm. it's wonderful because I, I mean, I, my, my patients are, it's so funny because they'll go out to talk to others, their friends, and they just parrot me. Yeah. And which is, that's the highest compliment ever, mm -hmm. right? Imitation, we want yeah. them to pair at us. They mm -hmm. want, we want them, you know, I always love to say one candle lights many candles, mm -hmm. right? And it, I think it's been estimated that in your lifetime, each of us will affect 27,000 lives in our wow. life. One person and one person. That's a lot of pressure. Think about that, folks. Think about that. You know, what you're saying to others and how, you, and that's what, what a, mm -hmm. isn't there more, there's no more beautiful thing to do to witness others, to, to minister to their health by giving them information that you heard. And that's why, you know, in the system today, as we have it, we don't have where you can go to a physician's office because, you know, it's almost like a, 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 a it's an assembly line, you know, for no matter whose fault it is, mm -hmm. but you're not getting any kind of education, any information or anything. But here, like tonight, this information now they're going to go out and say hey well, by the way did you know such and such about lymphatic or the gut or the da 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 da, da? and these are life-changing things these are yep. things that could they might say to somebody that might be in an urgent situation it's going to change and affect their lives right so this is what's so exciting to be witnessing this way and to be ministering this way mm -hmm. to something and my patients get excited to send people to us constantly because they, they're like, oh my gosh, and, and I'll tell the patient, did you know that, of course, I'm not going to disclose for the HIPAA, but I said, do you know that that person you referred in, you you can't imagine like a year down the road, how you've impacted them yeah. in ways that you could have never, ever imagined, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So so we're, this this is the thing, this information, um, and I think you're, these are recorded, Tracy, is that correct? Yeah, this, it's going to be on our YouTube page, so we'll give you the link, and you can send that out, and people can rewatch it, because you've unloaded a lot of great information, so I think people need to go back and rewatch it again. Well, when we're on the information train, mm -hmm. we would be, uh, we would be for, uh, remiss if we didn't discuss the endocrine system. Okay. And we know that's a, an altogether... Uh, again, a huge uh, subject matter of uh, another couple of webinars, but we are going to talk about an, an, a system of the body that is a, uh, a complex of, of parts that are the significant parts that run the body. And we're starting with the number one, I consider, or a it's a tie. There's a tie between the two. Adrenal is, in my mind, adrenal and thyroid are the big players. Mm. They're the big bosses, right? They're that they're running the whole show. They're whole, they're running the whole show. Well, of course, with the help of the pituitary gland and and the hypothalamus and all that. But bottom line is, stress, 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 mm -hmm. stress. We see it more so now than ever well, before, now. right? Right. So we've got this gland that's got to handle it all and has had to handle it for years and years. And 
and it doesn't again we say the body doesn't forget or doesn't forgive the adrenal doesn't forget or forgive so the adrenal gland has been under duress and and fire for all our lives from from birth right so what do we see we and manifestation as a result of this gland being run down we see a oh my gosh a shopping list right of conditions yeah, that are yeah. a result of adrenal fatigue mm -hmm. right adrenal exhaust and now they give it the ptsd and they give it this name and that yeah. name and they, but i love I that you made that connection because I don't think people make that connection with adrenals and PTSD. I love that. That's a whole lecture by itself. It's a whole lecture by itself. Yep. But it is a very real, very big, very big and very significant problem that affects more of us than we realize. Mm -hmm. I point this out to every one of my patients. I say, you're suffering from PTSD because you have extreme adrenal fatigue. And I'll always say to them, well, where do you rate your stress at? If we had a stress scale and 10 being the highest, where would you be on this scale? Mm -hmm. And I can tell you nine times out of 10, I'm going to hear it's a nine out of a 10 or it's a 10. I don't hear anyone come say, oh, it's about a two or a three or never mm -hmm. do I ever hear in all my years of practice. And when I say, do you have stress? I've never heard anyone tell me, oh no, I have no stress. <laughs> or else then my next question again is what spaceship did you Right. And can I go too? Yeah. And can I go too? <laughs> I want a free ticket to ride. I want a free picket. Exactly. <laughs> so we've got to do something, you know, the biggest, biggest, I think medicine misses the, the target really, especially with this gland called the adrenal glands. And, and they don't recognize the importance. I mean, they give this, all this thyroid medication that's always thyroid, thyroid, mm -hmm. thyroid, but guess what? The whole cause of the thyroid is the adrenal problem, right? Right. So, so we've got this, this, this unbelievable number of people with adrenal fatigue. So we got to get that nutritional frontiers, adrenal formula to everybody. Everybody's got to be on adrenal formula, folks, every day, day in, day out, day in, day out. We're just going to make a little cocktail here. This is going to yes. be great. We're, We're just take a, all of our uh, herbs. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And you're going to see all kinds of, of issues clear up. And when I tell you adrenal related issues go from the pain, people with pain, all the different fibromyalgias and inflammation, any inflammation, any type of inflammatory condition, because the adrenals are responsible for being having inflammation. Mm -hmm. You know, they produce an anti-inflammatory naturally for your body, but if they're fatigued, you can't produce the amount that you need to, yeah. to not be on fire, right? Right. So part of being adrenal exhausted is being on fire. You know, I, I put it in lay terms, right? And, you know, the exhaustion and, and can't sleep at night because it's a major player, right? In all the, the hormones and the ability to sleep and the serotonin and on and on and on. And on. Like, I, like we said, this could be another topic for a couple of but even, even the sickness itself is stress, you yes. know, or food sensitivities are stress. Yes. And so stress is stress. You know, your body doesn't know if you ate a Big Mac or you broke up with your boyfriend, like it just looks like stress. And I think the big, the big population that was heavily affected, we talked about this a few webinars ago, was the diabetic population. Um, and, you know, what is the lifestyle that leads to diabetes, right? If it's type two, it's usually high sugar, poor dietary choices, stress, which could have been from the poor dietary choices or from the lifestyle. So you can't balance serotonin and dopamine. You can't have good gut health and good brain health if you are pre-diabetic and then diabetic uncontrolled. And then add to that what you were saying earlier about high candida, right? Because of the unstable blood sugars. So this entire what I'm going to name our new cocktail is going to be a quarantini. So a quarantini, our little, I love our little it. quarantini, they can put in all of it if they want to, but they really have to look at these tinctures as good food, right? Given, as you said, by God, um, but it is good food and combining certain tinctures for what they're seeing in their health, whether it's they're very stressed out and they can't take this entire pandemic and their immune system is falling, great, do the adrenal and, and the immune tincture, right? Or if they know that they have heavy inflammation and a sluggish lymphatic system and liver, great, then let's do a detoxification protocol. Or you can just take some of each every day, right? Uh, so there's right. lots of good things that they can do. I love it. 
It, I like the quarantini though. That's going to be trademarked. You can sure. use that. You can. You, you use want that. to put that in a bottle? Tell you know, Jamie tomorrow is going to make it like another formula. I can see it now happening. Call it the quarantine. I want credit for this. One. <laughs> I can it see is it coming on down right now. This is missing right now. Right now, this down and. <laughs> okay, okay, Jamie. Don't forget, Jamie. We talked. Up, we uh, Tracy and I put this up. together tonight. That's right? right. That's right. It's the but Mike and Tracy quarantine. It's beautiful that again you can mix these together like that and affect these areas. But you know, the adrenal. My gosh, I, I, again, people will feel such a difference when they get that 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 gland stored and rejuvenated right <laughs> somebody said shaken not stirred oh okay very, very james bond <laughs> well we can't forget it's got to be shaken not stirred that's, that's just right. like it was isn't that like i don't drink but i guess like a, a martini that's you right you drink that, a quarantine it's a little dude, I, i'll drink a quarantine of course right. we got that's it. right did, 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 we have to have like a special uh, thing that we shake it into a little container i think and put an the umbrella how about a quarantine container that i love it the We're nutritional coming out with frontage logo too. on it there Jamie, we have a whole new brand standard hey, coming out. Poor Jamie, that could right be now a, he's over there just shaking. That could be part of the COVID nineteen kit. There the you go. The, the, <laughs> there you go. Quarantini. Okay, I'm sure it would sell like crazy. You'd probably have it back ordered. Right. But, but, but you know the beauty of the adrenals. Once you start working on them, man, you just feel like a million bucks, right? Because mm -hmm. that light, that, that 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 gland has been in a coma for some people, probably for most of their lives. Now, all of a sudden, it's coming back to life again, and you're starting to feel the effects of that like you've never felt before. So that's what's so exciting. I see that daily for so many years just by working on the adrenals. Two, two tinctures we have left to talk about, Tracy, and that is, and I didn't finish. I should have, when we were on the detox train. That's okay. The big, big one that really, because we got to, once we're cleaning the body out, it's got to be eliminated from the body. And that's your kidneys, your kidneys, that filtration system, right? The kidneys, sure. that less kidney bladder system. Chinese medicine, we know, actually, that's the most uh, uh, important meridian in Chinese medicine because of all the applications of the kidney and the bladder, right? And so mm -hmm. many ailments are from, well, look at the epidemic of dialysis. If we don't realize how important our kidneys are to us, well, we have a population now. What happened? They were on early on, right? Medication, particularly. Uh, hypertensives and diuretics. And guess what happened? As we know, the kidneys stress out with anything we put in that's a medicine, even mm -hmm. aspirin, right? Kidneys like the liver, the kidneys have to work really, really hard to flesh it out, right? So by the time somebody who's been on these type of medications for 34 years, by the time they're in their 70s, they're a candidate for dialysis, right? Yeah. The kidneys are giving out. So we have this wonderful tincture from Frontiers, the kidney bladder to restore and rejuvenate the kidneys, right? And to help flush out as you're detoxifying with the help of the lymphatic and the liver and such, we're gonna use the kidney bladder formula along with those tinctures and now flush out the toxins mm -hmm. and restore and rejuvenate your kidney. I mean, I've helped more kidney issues, mm -hmm. you name it, I've helped it just using the combination of lymphatic and kidney bladder. Amazing combination. Well, Amazing. it's also the, the first area that vitamin D comes in, right? There you go. And it goes through the kidneys. You have to absolutely. have healthy kidneys. I mean, you you're connecting to. all of these things to the virus. So absolutely, kidneys. Absolutely, positively. And, and I'll be I used part to do of... what was called RBTI testing. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. I know of it. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very well. The kidney bladder and the liver gallbladder tincture were the absolute two tinctures I used for the ureas. And I had such tremendous results with them. They were probably my two highest selling, you know, tinctures that I had. So I've used them all, all the years that I was in practice, loved them. They were very effective. I never had an issue with them. I never had somebody say this was too much or, you know, it just seemed to be like adaptogenic, right? It just really worked with everybody's body, which is, which is really important when you're working with each individual, right? Oh, for sure. Absolutely. And, and I think people will be pleasantly surprised when they include the kidney bladder in their quarantine is going to be a really helpful situation for them. <laughs> it's going to oh really gosh. make a big difference. I'm going to start hashtagging and, things. And, and going to hashtag. And finally, last but not least, we always say the best for last, tincture wise, is that wonderful endocrine, that mm -hmm. endocrine formula. Again, another webinar in and of itself, talking about the entire endocrine system. We mentioned the adrenal cords. We didn't spend any time on the thyroid, but that's another subject, but the thyroid has got to be there. And you, that's why we take the endocrine 
to support one of the wonderful supplements that Frontiers has to support not just the adrenals, not just the pituitary, pineal, hypothalamus, but the thyroid as well, and the pancreas, the hormonal, uh, uh, the hormonal function of the pancreas. Bottom line is we take this endocrine formula to balance, right, to balance out the endocrine system, which we know is significantly involved, especially as we get older. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, a, it's a mainstay for all my folks. A lot of my folks, I have a large population of seniors and I have them all on endocrine formula because I know that that system needs to be continuously restored and rejuvenated. I consider it an anti-aging formula as a result of, of as many of the Frontiers product are. So again, I know I've been kind of rushed, but running around a different, I mean, I've been kind That's of okay. speeding through things, but you know, I, 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 love, I love combining when I'm taking, when I have a patient on adrenal, I combine it with the endocrine, of course, because we want to really give it a, a really good once over with the uh, entire systems of the body of mm -hmm. the endocrine system, right? And um, I, I, I do want to uh, uh, just quickly interject a couple of things for those listening, um, uh, Tracy, and that is speaking of the thyroid. And again, that's another topic, but I just want to say at home, the really neat tests that you can do that have been around for ages and ages and those old pine country doctors that didn't have all these technologies that we have today. You know, I have a, I have a, a really dear, uh, and you may have seen him when you heard me speak. I don't know, was Dr. Streeter speaking that yeah. day? Uh, Dr. Streeter, and we should have him on the show one day, your webinars, Tracy. He's okay. an amazing wealth of information. This is a medical doctor who's been practicing for 50 years. He's the medical director for the Amish communities in Michigan and Indiana, and Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And he's got these clinical pearls on natural healing. But what he always says is that, you know, he doesn't treat the test. He treats the patient. Mm -hmm. And therein lies the problem with our crisis care system. It's a test, mm -hmm. treat the test, not the patient. And that's gotten us into a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble. And we're seeing the ramifications today yeah. of that type of, right? We're, we're mm -hmm. seeing that, okay? But bottom line is you can do quick two twists at home. I like them, I love them for the thyroid. That is take some iodine, mm -hmm. liquid iodine, get some mercure, we well, used to call it mercure chrome. Again, I'm dating myself, but <laughs> it's, you know, medicinal iodine and we're putting, you know, the patch test, right? We're putting it on either this side or this side, a little patch of skin. You're putting that, um, that um, uh, medicinal iodine on it in the morning and see how long does that stain take to disappear. And if your thyroid is working optimally, that stain is gonna stay around for 12 hours. Nobody has mm. a 12 hour test yet. I've never seen it. Never seen Only it. Is, right? And, right. Then, and then the other test of course is the temperature test, right? First thing in the morning before you get out of bed, uh, either you know, a digital thermometer under the tongue uh, and, and, and some have done it under the arm. Those that are really dedicated bottom line is body temperature minimally 97.8. And again, you know, if you want to, we want to see it, uh, we want to see a 97.8 uh, temperature and a 12 hour test. And that gives you way more information because as you know, they don't really run the right blood test markers for thyroid to begin with, you know, as we know, we you need six to 10 markers looked at and they're only looking at two at that, right? Yeah, so and the tests that you're talking about, they're cheap, they're easy, yeah, anybody easy can do them. And right. truly it does give you some perspective on what needs support. Um, and I've done that, you know, old mercury thermometer, shake sure. it down under the sure. armpit. And people have come back with temperatures like 95, mm -hmm. 96. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, we need to have some tinctures going here. and some. But then that's what the they like about it. They take the tinctures and then monitor and they can see mm -hmm. how the tinctures, right, right. are mm -hmm. impacting them. So I just threw that out to end our, or conclude our, our epic uh, conversation tonight. In Greek, I figured I'd be going along here, uh, very long-winded, as I'm oftentimes uh, 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 accused awesome. of being. But bottom line is that is a wonderful way to really see as many ways are because you know when you're on these tinctures and you're doing this kind of proactive living as this mm -hmm. now we're realizing we've got to do to survive this thing and other things to come. Your blood tests will show it. Your life, you will feel better. People will look and comment. Oh my God, what are you doing? Right. I mean, yep. it's, there's nothing like it. There's just nothing like it. So with that, I'm going to let you uh, conclude here for us and whatever that we need to, to talk about here to finish up. No, that was absolutely amazing. I really appreciate you being on here. We don't, we don't talk about our tinctures enough. We really don't. And they're so 
just wonderful. So I'm really glad that we had you on because you were the one that got me started. I think it was four or five years ago, maybe even longer when you spoke at NF and you talked all about the tinctures. And it was really the first time that I was, I considered using them because I wasn't really great at herbal medicine, right? I didn't really understand like all the synergy and herbs. And basically you stood up there and said, you don't have to, they did it for you. And here's what these do. And I was like, oh yeah, good point. Okay. So I'll buy those. So for people that just don't feel confident on being an herbologist, right. And mixing different herbs, you don't have to, we've done all the research, all of the formulations are done in the right percentages. Um, you know, and Jamie's always big, the right amounts, the right forms and nothing else. And, you know, our products are very clean. So, you know, organic, gluten-free, dairy-free, all of the above. Um, we really try to keep to that brand standard, but I really appreciate your expertise and our new hashtag, which you are welcome to use our quarantini. Um, so we went through a lot of tinctures. I hope people go back and Dr. Mike, will you let everybody know how to get in touch with you, please? I'd love to hear from you folks with questions at any time. And you can write to me or email. I'm just listening to me, write to me. I'm again dating myself. You can email <laughs> me at healing, C A L I N G, healing physician, P H Y S I C I A N, at AOL.com. Or you can even call me or call, I have a Tracy too. And you can call Tracy at 386 274 2520. And Thank you, Tracy, for the uh, honor and opportunity to be with you tonight. I yeah. thank you guys for doing just a marvelous job and uh, and the mission. The mission is to I like I like make the world healthy. The, the Blues <laughs> Brothers theme. We're on a mission from God. From God, right? Oh, so good. Thank you so much, Dr. Mike. I just love you know just working with you, and we're so appreciative of you and everything you do to keep the world healthy. So thank you. Keep going. And everybody, thank you for joining us. We know your time's valuable and we appreciate that you tuned in with us tonight. Stay tuned for next week. We're going to have some live yoga with Kara. So you get to stretch it out too. All right. Have a great night, everybody. We'll see you next week.